to be alive in this time where I can say I'm living with HIV and not be scared of being subjected to harm or be subjected to judgment is quite a privilege that I don't take lightly. Hi, my name is Sadie Brown and I'm an HIV victor. I'm a young person living with HIV. I was born with the virus and I have been using my social media platforms to destigmatize HIV. Hi everybody, my name is Assad, I'm 23 and I work in HIV prevention. There's a lot of misconceptions regarding HIV which I want to alleviate and eliminate. I'm Kota Babcock, I use he, him pronouns and I work as an HIV advocate. It's important to recognize World AIDS Day because of the impact HIV and AIDS has really had on so many communities, especially minority communities and otherwise oppressed communities. It is important that we regularly test for HIV because you need to know your HIV status. There's so much power in knowing because once you know, then you know what to do next. I've experienced people happy that we're providing pop-up testing, people coming to get tests regularly through us and through the services we provide. I've also had people apprehensive. What I would say to somebody who's apprehensive about being tested is it's free. It's fast, it's completely confidential, and you can also get tested at a sexual health clinic. Our proper testing and treatment is deeply intertwined with how our healthcare providers are able to treat us and how willing they are to listen to our needs. PEP and PrEP are two groundbreaking medications that are helping people when it comes to protecting themselves from HIV transmission. So PrEP can be defined as pre-exposure prophylaxis. So if you are a person who is HIV negative and you would like to protect yourself from possible HIV exposure, you would need to get initiated on PrEP. It's good to remember that PrEP can be taken by anybody. It's important to remember to still use a condom because PrEP does not protect you from STIs. We have so many different treatment options and prevention options at this point that a vaccine is really in the future. So PEP is defined as post-exposure prophylaxis. It's a medication you can take to protect yourself if you feel like you may have been put at risk or had sex with somebody with HIV. One of our biggest steps really was in getting people to the undetectable status for HIV. What happens there is that if a person who has tested positive for HIV and a person has been consistently on treatment, their viral load will drop so much that it gets to a point where it is undetectable. And if a person who's living with HIV has a viral load that is undetectable, then they won't be able to pass on the virus. We still have a lot of stigma to fight and we still have a lot of work to do in terms of making HIV something that isn't really seen as a negative thing for someone to have and something instead that that person is just living with, just like any other condition. I knew the fundamentals of what HIV was, but I didn't know how prevalent it was within the UK. People could feel isolated from their friends or just isolated from their community as a whole because they've got HIV. That can come from family and friends saying that you've been having sex, shaming people for having sex, now look this is what you deserve, this is what you're going to get, which is the worst narrative you could put across onto your loved one. I come from a small township in South Africa called Itzoseng, it's in the northwest province. Pretty much where I come from is still very um, ignorant in a sense with regards to HIV and that is why it is so important that our work as HIV victors, our work as advocates for people who are living with HIV is still so important. We still have to keep on putting in the work and just letting people know that um, you actually can live with HIV. People of any ability can have HIV. It isn't something that only impacts young gay men. It isn't something that only impacts young sexually active, abled people. In addition to this, health to care discrimination impacts how HIV is treated and whether or not people are getting properly tested and treated for HIV. I think how we can come together as society to be able to support people who are living with HIV would be firstly to familiarize ourselves with the fact that people can actually live with HIV. We have come so far, but there are still so many misconceptions and so much stigma around HIV and AIDS. So in World AIDS Day, we think of all the people that we have lost. I've lost my parents to HIV and AIDS, but in the same breath, we also get to celebrate the lives of those who are still choosing life, those who are still living with HIV. We are generation change. And we have the power to make a difference.